Now we are going to see the core concept of time and work. The first point is, if A can do a piece of work in n number of days, then A's one day work is 1 by n. See, if you take an example that A can do a piece of work in 10 days, then what will be A's one day work? It is 1 by 10. It is similarly to that. Okay, let's look on to the next point. If A and B can do a piece of work in A days and B days respectively, then working together, they will take AB by A plus B days to finish the work. And in one day, they will finish A plus B by AB part of work. Okay, see here, when you see the word together, which means you are going to sum up both the values. See now A do a piece of work in 5 days and B it does in 7 days. You are going to add up both the values that is 5 plus 7 to see the total work. Okay. A can do a piece of work in A days and B in B days. Okay. So working together so that it is A plus B. Okay. So when it comes for one day it will be the reciprocal. Okay, so A plus B divided by AB. Got it? And now, third point is, if the number of men to do a job is changed in the ratio of A is to B, then the time required to do the work will be changed in the inverse ratio that is B is to A. Now see, we have important formula here. See here, N1, H1, D1, E1, W2 is equal to N2, H2, D2, E2, W2. Okay, so I'll tell you what is all this. N1 and N2 are the number of person. See here, if you take 10 men and 5 women are working together. So, this 10 and 5 is the number of person. H1 and H2 is the hours work by per person per day. Assume constant. See here, H1 and H2 is the number of hours. When the value is given in hours. Okay. A do a piece of work in 10 hours and B do it in 5 hours. This value is H1 and H2. Okay. Same way, D1 and D2 is the number of days. A do a piece of work in 10 days. B do a piece of work in 20 days. So, it is D1 and D2. Efficiency. Okay, efficiency is, so when it is given that A is thrice as efficient as B. Okay, so this is efficiency. Okay, and W1 and W2 is the amount of work done. Okay, this is the given important formula. I will tell you again N1, H1, D1, E1, W2 which is equal to N2, H2, D2, E2, W1. Okay.